Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell, like this video. That helps me to keep making videos. I'd appreciate it majorly. Just wanna quickly as possible tell you about uh, the, uh, the story I was just reading about. It's the Jeffrey Epstein story, but I saw the interview that the journalist who's been do doing the most reporting on this from the Miami Herald, Julie Brown, was on MSNBC with David Gura, who I've never seen before. I don't think I, I rarely watch MSNBC, but I, I re highly recommend you watch the, uh, it's 12 minutes long and it really gets interesting around 9.15. That's where, I mean, I read it first and when I read it, you know, some of the things that were talked about and some of the things that Julie Brown said in her, you know, investigative reporting, I was, I was quite, uh, you know, I was taken by it and shocked. So it's not, absolutely clear and i understand you gotta you know you gotta consider the source not necessarily the miami herald but msnbc which is fairly you know anti-trump naturally but um some of the things that were said by her and and then and then also the host and some of the other guests that were that were there but she was the center of you know center of the interview it's her story and she's been reporting on jeffrey epstein for years even beyond uh before trump was president so you know, um, but she's, you know, she's a reporter at the Miami Herald and she had done a three part series, uh, you know, in part about the the uh, the slap on the wrist deal, the, the non prosecution deal that had been uh, that had been done years ago in 2007, I believe is when it was. But recently, you know, um, some of the victims, attorneys for the victims had sued that saying it was a violation of law because none of the victims were included in that. Jeffrey Epstein basically got, you know, um, very little in terms of punishment when he could have been facing 53 years, I think. And he ended up doing 13 months in a work release program in a county jail. I think he had to basically plea to state charges. The status of that isn't totally clear to me, and I don't want to get bogged down into that and other things too, because there's so much. So I just want to tell you what I found the most interesting in this interview. So before I tell you what she said, the other, the host basically brought up, you know, some of the other people on the panel were asking the reporter questions and they were bringing up the other case in Palm Beach. You know, I think it's Ju Ju uh, uh, Jupiter, um, um, Florida, where the massage parlors, Robert Kraft, you know, human trafficking case, that thing. And, and, and so, and so the, the host, David Gura, you know, before time gets wrapped up, says, you know, I want to go back to this rogue scholar, rogue scholar. That's what he called it. And I don't even know what that is. I know what a rogue scholar is, but he called it rogue scholar that we were referring to. And then he brings up a list of names and he just flat out lists them. Larry Sumner, Alan Dershowitz, Bill Clinton, Kevin Spacey, Donald Trump. And then he points to an, a, a, a colleague of his, a, a, for, a, a fellow reporter at NBC News, Tom Winter. And he he says that he's reported on these things and the duress that other principals in this investigation have been under, you know, being followed, their kids being photographed. Now, I don't know that those other principals, you know, uh, in this investigation that have been under duress, whether that's referencing the list of names he gave or not. So he goes on to ask the other uh, reporter, you know, um, what, what, are her, what are her, you know, what asks her to comment on that. And she says she doesn't know how deep this you know went and how far reaching it went into the government but it involved tons of powerful people and that she's felt a lot of pressure you know uh in in doing her reporting on this and she she then goes on to say and this is what brought my attention to the whole story you know uh why i'm making the video she says how you know a lot of these people she would see their names on a regular basis on these message pads and evidence where they basically would, on, on a regular basis, where they would call Epstein and say, I'm at this hotel. And she flat out says like, why would anybody, why would anybody call somebody and say that unless they were expe basically expecting him to send over an underage girl? And, um, you know, so he said, you know, he, she said that these people are feeling a lot of pressure right now. And it's interesting to see whether or not Jeffrey, M it will be interesting to see if whether or not Jeffrey Epstein will, you know, will start naming names in order to basically, you know, reduce his own, um, you know, save himself in the prosecution and where, and where that goes to. Then he does ask her, um, you know, about, about the relationship that Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump have. They both, I think, have homes in Palm Beach, I guess Mar-a-Lago's in, in, in West Palm Beach. I'm not real sure. 
but they both have homes in Palm Beach. And she says that they have a friendly relationship, that they've attended dinner parties at each other's houses before. And, you know, that Donald Trump's been on Jeffrey Epstein's plane. And I think that's been, you know, that's been uh, talked about. And there's been a lot of sort of conspiracy theories on that that I, I don't even know the full extent of. But, um, you know, and, and she says that Donald Trump hadn't been on his plane as, as, as much as some of the others because Donald Trump had his own plane. But they had a lot of similar, um, similar, similar social relationships with others. And then she stops herself because she just didn't finish her sentence. And she starts to talk about how, you know, Donald Trump owned a modeling agency. And then at some point, uh, Jeffrey Epstein owned a stake in, in an, a modeling agency himself. And somewhere in the ed evidence, it actually said that, um, you know, that Jeffrey Epstein had said that he wanted to set up you know, I want to, Jeffrey Epstein said, I want to set up my model a, modeling agency the same way Trump, Trump set up his modeling agency, you know? So that doesn't necessarily, um, you know, that doesn't prove anything at all, but it's just interesting. And I, I guarantee you, I think you'll find it. I found it. Uh, it's worth watching. I would check it out. I'll link it down in the description and that's pretty much the story there, man. All right. Well, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.